<laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm doing the eye roll. Welcome back to Ropes and Designs 25 Days of Christmas. I'm going to teach you in this video how to decorate a bookcase and how to decorate a wreath. And of course, we're going to put them together. Be sure to watch this video to the very end because I'm going to teach you some design gold, some designer secrets on how we make our bookcases look amazing. So what's gonna make this bookcase look Christmassy? Ta-da! My wreath wall. I have so many to choose from. Let's see which one. Oh, how about this one? Yeah, that was planned. And I'm gonna show you how to make a wreath. Ready? Let's get started. The first thing I do is I check my wreath and I go, what's its best side? Wreaths are just kind of like individual and they all have their best sides, kind of like people. What I'm doing right now is I'm marking my territory. Now that I know where my bottom is and I know where my top is, I'm turning it around. I'm gonna use some kind of like my natural looking things. I have some magnolias. This is where my main focal point is gonna be, right here. And I wanna do sort of a, a bigger arrangement than I normally would. I'm gonna put my magnolia thing there. And here's what I do, you guys, when I just start this. I literally lay the stuff in and see what I like. I don't make it permanent yet. Once you get it in its location where you know you're going to be happy with it, then you can secure it. Not permanently, but enough for this year, right? The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a ribbon. And you guys, if you have never seen how I make my bows, I have several different videos. We'll put links in the description box below on how to make these bows. Bring it around the back and twist and tie. So this is how bookcase number one turned out. This is our white on white, tone on tone, very, I call it Pinteresty. You know that's a word, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a Pinteresty look, and the reason I love it so much is because it's definitely just decorative. This doesn't work if you are a reader and you want to be able to find your books, but if this is completely just for decoration, this kind of thing is fun. And what we did was we turned the books around, so all we're looking at is actually the pages rather than the spines. It gives an overall creamy tone on tone look. I think it's awesome. Then I mixed in with it some champagne, some gold, some silver, some mercury glass, and of course my wreath. Now, my wreath, this is the one that's just in the nice champagne colors. I love the angels and the crystals and the deer and the snowflakes. It's very winter wonderland. Leave me a comment below, let me know if you like this one. And now, let me show you another option. Spoiler alert, my color scheme this year is going to be back to the winter white, the winter wonderland that I love so much, but it's gonna have little touches of cobalt blue. Kept my wreath the same. However, this wreath now has touches of the cobalt blue balls in it. Then I used my Yulata plates. I probably didn't say that right. Anyway, they're Christmas plates that are collector's items that you collect over the years, and these are really old and they mean a lot to me. Pictures of my family. Remember this, where I did the how to fold your book pages and make a fun little ornament kind of deal? Well, there is a video. You can see exactly how we did that, and I'll link that in the show more box below. But here's something you should note. See how all of the books now come to the front? And I did all colored books. They're like a, a random colors, but they're actually not random. I specifically chose my blue books, some green ones, brown, and white. So there is kind of a feel, but it's more randomly set. Down here, I left this whole shelf open, and I do that because a lot of times when we're entertaining, especially at Christmas time, it's a great place for people to sit. So you get to sit and be in the library all at the same time. Do I look well read? In nearly every ropes and design home, you're gonna find a built-in somewhere. Why is that? Well, it is a very efficient use of space. It doesn't take up much floor space, but you can go vertical, which means you can put a lot of stuff in a very small location. So let me break it down for you. I'm gonna call it five things you need to decide on when doing a bookcase. Number one, do you want your book covers to stay on the books or do you wanna take them off? 
So the second decision is how do you want to arrange those books? They can all be at the same height. You can arrange them in a triangular pattern. That means they start next to the wall of the bookcase highest and go down to the lowest. How about a pyramid? Start with the smaller ones on either side and work your way up. I like to do an L shape where I have books standing vertically and horizontally. I call it random. It means I'm just lucky to be in this bookcase at all and not on a table or on a floor somewhere. I bring all of my books right to the front edge of each shelf so that the light hits the front, these books will be seen, it'll make all the difference in the world. Do you want this to be merely a visual thing? You just want to see them and it looks cool? Then turn your books around. If you actually want to read them, don't turn your books around. And the fifth decision is, is it going to be just books or are you going to mix it up? You're going to add some photographs of the family, places you've been, or maybe a few accessories. You use these five tips in a bookcase and I promise you, it's going to make a huge difference. You are welcome. Thank you for watching number three. I hope you learned a lot. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Also, be sure to share our videos. It is the nicest thing you could possibly do for us and it gets the word out there that Ropes and Design is around. We love that. Now, you've got to subscribe to this channel and Shara's channel, which is How to Live Your Style, Ropes and Design and How to Live Your Style. If you do that, you will never miss an upload on these 25 days of Christmas, much less all the other cool things we do all year round. Welcome back to day three of... What are you doing? Are you telling me He's I have garlic glitter. glitter? Oh, can I just say so do you? A glitter book? Yeah, but I'm on a camera. So yeah, but matter. you're going to go out afterwards and people are going to be talking about you. Uh -huh.